All right, so I have gotten way more views and way more support on my CJ video than I ever expected to. Completely not what I'm used to. I'm used to people just, you know, like what Emily's original viewers and fans did um, come to me and say that I'm completely at fault. I should have known better. I'm the one who's in the wrong. It doesn't matter what he did or what he said. I've lost a lot of friends because of him. And so these new people that are watching my videos and coming and able, they're able to see through what he's said and what he's done and know that I was just as much a victim as she was just in a different way. You have no idea how cool it is and how different and weird it is for me. I appreciate it so much. And it's something that I am completely not used to. Um, a lot of you new people are asking me why I hate him so much, why this continues on, especially since I've gotten married and I'm completely in love and I'm completely happy. The thing is, is that I don't just day to day think about CJ. He doesn't cross my mind at all. I have nothing to do with him. However, I am pretty sure he has some of his friends coming to my page and they're abusing me and they have been for a very long time now. And this is what keeps my hatred for him constant because they have no right. I mean, even if you're friends with somebody, you can't deny when that person's done something wrong. If I had a friend that fucked somebody over the way he fucked me over, there's no way I would take that friend aside and be like, oh, well, she's still a bitch and you're still in the right. No, if somebody does something wrong, they do something wrong, regardless of who it is. And these people seem unable to see that. And they just think that he is completely blameless and they've made it a point to attack me. Now, I don't know 100% that is his friends, but I'd say I know about 97% that they're his friends. Different reasons now. One, there's this guy named Flint something, and then there was this girl that was his girlfriend. They had added me. They had messaged me. A lot of times when bullying and fake websites and shit would go on about me, it would be the girlfriend um, writing me saying, oh, did you know this website's up about you? I'm not going to um, be online anymore. I'm going to deactivate my profile because humanity is so ugly. You can't trust them. I don't want anything to do with it. And she'd deactivate her profile. And I believed her for the longest time. Uh, I am a victim of lolcow. You guys have probably heard of them. They have been hounding me for a while. They've recently kind of given up, but one or more of the members of lolcow, I'm pretty sure are CJ's friends and probably these people as well. Now, Emily, when she was still hating me, they all got together, her, her friends, CJ's friends. They pretended that CJ had gotten married and had kids because they knew it would hurt me to know that he's moved on, had a family and a normal life after what he did to me. Now, all of that was fake. And the guy, Flint, who happens to be Emily's cousin, he went out of his way to message me on Facebook just to let me know CJ has moved on. He's grown up. He's a different person. He has a family now and I need to leave him alone. I need to leave him alone, even though I was doing nothing of the sort to bother him. So, I mean, I would spy on him, check on him, but I would never do anything. It was like, oh, what's that faggot up to now? I fucking hate him for what he's done to me. Just kind of like that, which lots of people do. It doesn't really matter. I know a lot of people do that to me. As long as they don't bother me, you can watch me and hate me all you want. I don't care. As long as you don't do anything, which, you know, so many people do that. It's not really a big deal. Anyway. So I know he's involved. I know she's involved. Um, when Lolcow were in the midst of their biggest, biggest fight against me, they had taken every aspect of my life and put it online. They twisted lies with the truth to make it seem like it was real, took things I said out of proportion, and they just basically made my life a living hell. I almost killed myself over it. I went offline for, I'd say about between three and five months because I just wanted nothing to do with it. You know, they had always said, if you want to leave you alone, get offline. Okay, so I got offline. There are two different groups, two or more different groups of people attacking me online. One of them is Lil Cal. One of them are CJ's friends. How I know these are CJ's friends also are because I've been keeping an eye on this girl's profile to see when she comes back online because I had wanted to message her about the stuff she saw. I saw that um, she had liked this page that went up. Her and everybody in the UK that were friends with CJ, that whole group of them, liked a page 
that came up when I was offline um, saying rip Raven Sparks or something like that. They had made a page saying that I killed myself and they were talking and posing as me on it. Oh, she's been found dead. She overdosed on insulin, blah, 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 and all this shit. Lolcow went crazy with it, saying that I was faking my own death. Oh, I deserve to die. What a horrible person I am. They'd come and shit on my grave if they could. Oh, the people that follow me are so stupid for liking me. How could you like someone who would fake their own death? Yada, yada, yada. Even though I did not make the page. They've seen hate pages about me go up, fake Wix websites and things like that. And they've actually accused me of making my own hate sites just to get attention, which is fucking stupid. So what I have in this video are screenshots. Now I got a, like, I got harassed again, um, just the other day on my YouTube, very, very illiterate dumbass person. I deleted some of the comments, some of them I left so that I could report the profile and they kept saying Baron, Baron, B A R O N. And I'm like, is that a new insult to call someone a Baron? Do you know, Baroness, maybe because I'm a female countess, something like that. And I'm like, what new slang is this? I couldn't figure it out. Then I went to go check on Lil Cal because they mentioned that Lil Cal cookie forms, whatever was on about me again. And I was like, okay, well, let's see what's going on here. It's been a while. I'm no longer in the, the mindset of where I feel like I'm going to kill myself over anything they say. So I was curious, wanted to see. And I saw some comments from this person on there who kept saying Baron, Baron. So obviously it's the same person. They're trying to say Baron, B-A-R-R-E-N, as in I can't have kids, which is a pretty fucked up thing to make fun of somebody for because I've been trying to have a baby since my son was two. So he's 21 now. So that's 19 years of struggle, ectopic pregnancies, miscarriages, some pretty harmful, very, very, very hurtful losses. And this person has not only mocked me for it, continues to mock me for it, but they've also made a fake Wix website taking pictures of my ectopic and saying that I had an abortion. So I'm going to show all these screenshots. I'm going to show screenshots, first of all, of the profile on Lolcow the comments that they said on YouTube, look at the spelling, look at the spelling on the Wix as well. It is all the same person. They're listed as being from the UK. And while I know anybody could lie about where they are, everything matches up. The fact that they do speak like they're from the UK, the fact that they used, misused the word Baron trying to insult me, the fact that they have a personal vendetta against me and they are not from Lolcow, the fact that they liked my death page before anybody even knew it was up and the fact that lolcow didn't even know i had nothing to do with it points to two different groups of people and like i said seeing that only cj's friends had liked that page before it ever got out shows me that they had something to do with it and i'm sure you guys will agree so i hate him because he's obviously telling some really nasty lies to these people i hate these people because they're too brain dead to understand that I'm the victim here, not him. And they're continuing on this hate mongering for what? Because their friend lied to me and left me for my best friend and was a scumbag to his ex-wife, mistreats everybody he comes across. He's a user, abuser, a fucking liar, pervert. He's, he's every despicable thing you could ever come across in a person. And anybody in this world is better off for having him out of their life. You know, um, I'm not going to go into what he did to me because obviously there's a whole video about it, but onward with the screenshots. I might narrate. I might not. Um, I had set it up so that I would just narrate pictures, but obviously I talk too much. So if you need to pause the pictures, feel free to pause. I try to do the best I can. I don't want to go too much into the lol cow stuff because this isn't about them. This is about the other group of people hating me. And that group is CJ's group. And with the kind of shit they're pulling and the kind of shit they're saying, you'll see and hopefully you'll understand why my hatred for him still flares fresh and bright because he could easily put a stop to all this. He could have a long time ago. He could have just said, look, I was, I was completely wrong and I'm very sorry. I'll pay you back for the plane ticket. And I would have left this a long time ago. I would have gotten over it and been fine if I knew he actually did honestly feel bad for what he did and stop blaming me, lying about me, trying to make me out to be some kind of monster, turning his friends against me or allowing them to continue to harass me and send me threats. Um, I wouldn't hate him the way I do. 
you know, it takes a big man to apologize for what he's done wrong. And obviously CJ just doesn't have it in him and he never will. So as long as I keep getting threats of people vis visiting my house, pretending that they're local, listing a town that's not even anywhere near me to try to scare me, um, as long as this is still happening, I'm going to continue to hate him. So you guys can make your own decisions on it. Please check out the photos and I will see you guys in a happier video. Bye-bye. All right, so this is some of the YouTube comments. I've deleted some of them, but look at the spelling. Oh, what a fail. Look at that threat. I love how you live down a long, quiet road with no cameras. It's late here in New Zealand. Right now, I may have to pay your house a visit while Logan's at work. Yeah, good luck with that. From Akaroa so close to you? Uh, yeah, uh, not really. In my fake life, hmm, I wake up and I sit in line and I have a husband who loves me. I'm so fake. Kiwi Farms, that's a uh, fucking lol cow. Die, whore! <laughs> I'm such a whore. I have a husband that loves me and I've been with him for almost five years now. Well, four years. Going on five. 24 from the UK that fits the age group of the person I was telling you about. Oh, the people I was telling you about, actually. And uh, all they've done is talk about me. Their whole life revolves around me. It's creepy. These are their little cow comments. You probably have to pause it here. Latest new vid. Let her female rat play with Male rat surprise when female gets pregnant, except uh, that didn't happen. Not every female is barren like you, Raven. Wow, what a fucking moron. Put your saggy tits away. Her creepy doll casually enjoying Christmas. Oh my god, I have so much to say about that. Uh, I should just like pause it and go back to it, but I can't be bothered. You haven't been speaking to CJ because he's my friend and I know you haven't. Yeah, she'll hold an online online fundraiser for the surrogacy. Don't give in to her pedo. Look at how pedo is spelled. Dildo beating demands Allie. That was a girl we were trying to foster. Um, hostage video with boy husband. He never rolls his eyes. This is a fake website. Now, you might have to switch back and forth, go back to those comments, and then look here. Uh, pedo. Whore. Um, Diana is my birth name. I had it changed a long time ago, which Lolcal loves to make fun of me for because they think I named myself when in reality it was a nickname I was given when I was 13 years old and people just call me Raven more than they call me Diana. So I changed it. Kept Diana as my middle name, got rid of my middle name. And uh, yeah, so this is still follow me. Search by tags. Fat whore. Fat whore slag. Slag is a UK thing. Pedo spelled exactly the same way it is. Kill yourself, bitch. Skank suicide. My sponsors, Weight Watchers. Stop bullying. Sow respect. <laughs> They've taken screenshots from my profile, by the way. That's what these pictures are. Um, I love my son so much. That's my husband. They like to say he was 16 when I got married and I was like 38, even though he was 18 when we got married and I was 35 when we met. So I was like 37 when we got married, but big age gap, but still not what they're liking to say. Um, the baby thing, of course, making fun of me for not being able to have kids. Do, 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 do. And then, then talking about my wedding and shit. These are just screenshots. And then you open the individual pictures and in the individual pictures is more details and stuff. And more bullshit, but you can tell from the writing, it is definitely somebody from the UK, and the only ones from the UK that I know that are that personal are the ones that CJ has sent after me. This is my ectopic pregnancy. This had me crying in the hospital. I was in the hospital for over a week. I thought I was going to die, and this was very, very hard on me, and they stole my picture and put it up and pretended that I got an abortion. I am so anti-abortion, it's not even funny. We can't stop getting pregnant. I was pregnant with twins with him. I was pregnant with this one. Yeah. And this one here. They have uh, my ex-husband's address somehow. Um, making fun of me for being fat because, yeah, I was overweight before I got my surgery. But fuck, I'm not the only one in the world. And I never beg for freebies. Uh, I have a lot of awesome people online that send me stuff. 
um, they're just jealous because I actually have followers and people that love me and people that care about me. Here was a video that I had made um, showing how to put on contacts and they took it pretending that I'm going to die and kill myself because I breastfeed a doll. I bought a reborn doll to help me cope with the fact that I can't have a baby, you know, cuddle therapy. I heard it was supposed to be really good for you. So I got one. I love her to death. She's beautiful, but I never bonded with her because of shit like this. Um, this person in Lolcal ridiculed me to the point where I just wasn't able to bond with her. So I dressed her up, take pictures of her because she was a $500 fucking doll. This here, <laughs> um, I was thinking on my friends for being there for me and they took that and are trying to talk shit about me there. with more lies, of course. And you can see this one here is 2014. This has been going on and on since before 2014 as well. And I love how they keep calling me a whore when I was married, then I was with CJ, then I was with this husband here when I didn't want anybody else. And here it says, why is this hard to find surrogate? Yeah, okay, my life has been really fucked up, but you know what? That I know what not to do and I know how to be a good parent because I know what I would want done to me. I know the mistakes that I've made. So sorry, but yeah, I think I'll be a pretty damn good parent. Here they are again, 16 year old husband. My husband was not 16. My husband was 18 when we got married. I was not 42. I'm not even 40 yet. Not now, <laughs> you know, um, and he loves me more than anything. He is so goddamn loyal to me. They can't handle it. They're waiting in the wings for him to leave me. And they can't understand that, you know what? He actually does love me. They like to say that I'm fucking my ex-husband, but um, he's my ex for a reason. This is another fake website that they put up. They had um, some naked pictures that I had taken when I was with my ex. Uh, I thought I deleted everything because I'm not that person anymore. But... They made this. I thought it was lol cow originally because it is the kind of stuff that they would do. They took handcuffed and raped, which is from a, an acid bath song. And I love acid bath. They're my favorite band. And um, they took my URL from Facebook and they made it the URL for that site. And so they got my information here. More pictures. They had pages and pages of pictures. Um, of course, I've cut them because they're not fit for the internet. Got them deleted for a reason take clients ages 14 to 99 and they almost spelled like a normal human being here but I guess not and here this is lol cow these following pictures are from lol cow and so here the dumbass is actually thought that was a real website so this is how I know it wasn't them um, they saw it and they thought that I posted that and they were mocking me for it so that right there shows you that it is more than one group of people against me even though the people that are on CJ's site are on locale spreading more lies. This is when the page come up, came up about me being dead, apparently. And um, here they go debating on whether I faked my death. Um, and I'm doing it for sympathy and attention when in reality, I just wanted to break from the internet. And as soon as I vanished, I wasn't online to protect myself. They made that fake page. And yeah, I'm making my son go along with it. Okay. And then when my friend posted on the page saying, no, she did not make the page. This is not real. The person who made the page posted that there saying that I am the real Raven Diana Sparks. And I did fake my death, not for attention, trying really hard to sound like me. They were pretty close, really, really close. I uh, wonder how long it took them to fake my writing. But my friends all knew right away that it was not me. And they knew that was not me at all. And I jumped online at that point and I reported it and I had it removed. I should have taken screenshots of it, but I didn't. And they keep saying, oh, faking her own death. Like they believe they're so gullible. They actually believed it. They believed all of that. 